There are two thieves that invade our mind and steal our peace. These two enemies are fear and desire. Another name for these two are worry and want. Research has shown that over 90% of the things we worry about never happen. I would dare to say that over 90% of the things we want never happen either. So we spend most of our time either worrying about or wanting things that are never going to happen. That's why these two are the enemies of peace. They keep you focused on the past and future instead of the present moment, which is all you ever have. There's an old Eastern proverb that says, there is no fear for one whose mind is not filled with desires. Another proverb says, desire grows in you like a vine in the forest. Like a monkey in the forest, you jump from tree to tree, never finding the fruit, never finding peace. Two foes that rob us of our peace, without them all our troubles cease. The first, desire. The second, fear. Remove them and your mind is clear. Do not resist and do not cling to worry, doubt, or anything that would disturb the inward flow that brings you light and helps you grow. For fear and wanting will create a prison you will come to hate. Release and let your spirit lead, and you will find success indeed. The mystery and awe of life is lost when we live in fear or desire. A wise old man by the name of Lao Tzu once wrote, Ever desireless, one can see the mystery. Ever desiring, one only sees manifestations. In other words, do not desire the shadow of manifestation when you can embrace the substance of source. Both fear and desire exist only in the realm of thought. A great teacher once said, Take no thought for tomorrow. When we detach from the prison of our frenzied thinking, we break the chains of fear and desire and discover that we already have within us everything we need for a life of peace, joy, and fulfillment. Do not allow the thieves of fear and desire to rob you of the mystery of life that exists in this very moment. Drink deeply from the source because the manifestations will never satisfy.